<clears throat> Welcome back to the Convo Couch, ladies and gentlemen. I am Pasta Jardula and Fiorella and Johnny Tsunami are on a little hiatus, but you'll hear from them soon. Anyways, listen, sorry to be here again in my living room. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing a show, uh, but I wanted to break some information because I think it's pretty solid. Uh, we're still looking for a little bit confirmation, so I can't give it a thousand percent stamp of approval, but the sources that it's been coming from have been on on point, and I want to put it out there right now since it's coming from those same sources. Um, I have said before, and there's a video of mine that's playing that says Epstein was intelligence, uh, is intelligence, and we gave you three reasons why. We pointed out, number one, that his sentence was ridiculous. Uh, for sex trafficking, he got the pay the price of uh, a person who committed jaywalking. Uh, number two, he had the uh, holiday and stay at Broward, or excuse me, in Palm Beach County, Florida, where as a uh, sex offender, you're not allowed to get work release, but he got it. And he got unsupervised work release, and in fact, had his own part of the jail, and he checked in maybe once a week sometimes, they said, slept there a couple nights, it was ridiculous. So that's another point that shows that somebody up top was pulling the strings. And number three, he had an agreement to have 34 mandatory check-ins in Manhattan in a substation as he has his apartment registered there and he had to register as a sex offender and meet those requirements. If you miss one of those, you're subject to four years in jail. Uh, he didn't make any of them. Uh, so it was kind of obvious to a lot of people. We heard the Daniel Acosta report when he was in the Trump transition team say that he was not allowed to touch Epstein, to leave it alone. It was above his pay grade and to take the deal and he did so. Um, and we also know that Mueller was the FBI director at the time, who Mueller is the lying P.O.S. piece of shit, uh, deep state Mongol who lied us into war into Iraq, who really just dilly-dallied with this whole case. He had no proof, and he led uh, Amer Americans who didn't want to do the homework or the research or just to consume to do the research uh, down a whole freaking trail of bullshit, nothing. And even in fact, in his last report, which a lot of the mainstream media is not reporting, that he also concluded that it, it was a chance that it was also an internal leak and not just a hack. So he lies and he kept that out of the public. He was the FBI director in 2008 when they cut the sweet deal. And the FBI director should have known and probably did know. And we're searching on reasons to back that up. That's my area. South Florida, West Palm Beach, and I'm going to come up with something, ladies and gentlemen. I got peeps working on the case, but tonight we have some new information, and it's kind of important to report. It reports, let me read this now, more evidence to prove that Jeffrey Epstein is some sort of intelligence asset. It says, let me get this son of a beeswagger, Je Jeffrey Epstein was caught sharing an FAA tail number with a U.S. military reconnaissance attack plane that was being used for code opera covert operations in Colombia by U.S. State, US State funded mercenary company DynCorp International at the time. The same DynCorp uh, that was caught trafficking children in multiple countries, including Colombia. It means that Epstein's helicopter will be able to bypass border security checkpoints and elude law enforcement. This is extremely high likelihood that Epstein's illegal childhood uh, trafficking was supported or funded by U.S. government. So, and, and you see in the tweet, it says, someone had to approve this. Tis, tis. It's not looking good for the elite. Two years of slow moving through all this info and finally speeding up and coming to light. <sighs> not going to see that on CNN. Not going to see that on MSNBC. As the shit iceberg, the tip of the shit iceberg starts coming further out of the water. And I really wanted to do this film today for you tonight because of one reason. Because I really am hating the tribalness of this. I hate about the people who are really just trying to make this about Donald Trump. If Donald Trump is guilty of something and he's guilty of raping children, he should go to fucking hell. And if there's evidence to prove that then bring it to light. But all you have is accusations now and a lot of bullshit accusations, okay? I don't have any proof that he was on that island. It doesn't make me happy or sad. It still just makes me want to hold the people responsible for this fucking crime. 
excuse my French, for these fudging crimes. Epstein has a long, dirty laundry list of backing from uh, intelligence, okay? And, that, and if you want to start making this all tribal, really, I mean, I can't understand why. I mean, yes, I do understand why you, you do hate Trump. Even the, even the thing today where, you know, uh, excuse me, the other day when he's telling people to go back to their own country. If you don't like it, leave. All I'm saying is if they want to leave, they can leave, John. They can leave. It's the stupid, arrogant, idiotic BS that we hear from our uncle, our dumb, racist uncle at the Thanksgiving table every friggin' year. It's, it's idiotic thinking. But there's a lot of low-informed voters out there. The majority of people, they're not in the political bubble. They don't understand these things. They'll never watch this video. They'd rather watch something on mainstream, you know, fun and entertaining or get into their music or whatever. They don't look at this as a serious thing. They're just programmed to go work and be part of the same system. Be, be be part of going out and eating the zombie pudding. You know what I'm saying? So he says these stupid things to rile his bases, and I'm not excusing them. They are. They are racist of mentality. They are. Inherently. I mean, they're stupid. But really, and I'm going to read my tweet here, and I, and I put this tweet up right now and stuff. Take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. If the real Donald Trump was removed from office today, would there be any real change? It's the system that needs to be removed and replaced. Addressing only symptoms of the problem will get us more of the same. Digressing to the status quo won't help the people who are suffering most. Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't about politicians. This isn't about parties or people. Stop being so damn tribal. This is about the system. The fight to reveal the truth on the Epstein case to me is really important. It's about the fight for humanity. Because if there's somebody upstairs and these all these people, these elites that are pulling all the strings and they're lying to us just to make us slaves to the monetary system and we can identify who they are and expose them and really change the system, that's a fight worth having. That's a fight for humanity. This goes above all the, the, the things that are on the surface all the things that were put in place to divide us. And I understand, I'm very sympathetic about understanding the mechanisms. And, and, and my friends, you know, like who, who have children and they hear Donald Trump say these things, it ticks them off and it flicks a switch. But we got to start asking questions, why? The people who side with him, the people who feel that way, why? Because they, the elites have been starving and and deflating the system. They've been giving us less and less resources so we fight with each other. The big difference is between all of us and them up top. The ones pulling the strings. We have more in common. And once we understand that they are the common enemy, the same people who funded Epstein, who funded children's rape, who funded... 14, 15 year old girls that got molested, broken girls. They broke the system and now they're using military equipment. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. And regardless what happens, I don't know if some of you know, we put some tweets out today. YouTube has decided not to give us our monetization. They denied us today. And on the computer, trying to reach them, trying to talk to them, trying to get an answer on what's what. I can't get any specifics. So now we can't get any money for advertising. We can't get money for Super Chats. We don't even know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. They're putting a stranglehold on us. And a lot has to do with the stuff we're putting out there right now. We're talking about Seth Rich. We're talking about the Epstein case. They wanted this shit buried. And they're going to try to silence us. That's why we weren't cool with the Alex Jones shit. We got to start asking why. Why are the people feeling this way? Why are they following Donald Trump? Why are the people... And I'm not talking about the people involved with this Epstein case and stuff. All those people and all this stuff, they're different. They're just off the grid, off the map. They don't see Democratic or Republican. But the, uh, those who are us, who are in the bubble, who are in the politics, the tribalness, why are they following him? Why? Why? 
Why did he get more Latino votes than McCain or, uh, or uh, what was the other guy, Mitt Romney? Why did he get more uh, African-American votes than McCain or Mitt Romney? Think. We got to ask why. It's not about the party. It's not about the politician. It's about the system. And it's about to go down. And that's where we have to stay focused. We have to take down the elites once and for all. And YouTube, you can go eat a bag of Richards for trying to silence us or demonetize us. We'll find a way. Thank you to all our patrons. We love you out there. I was crying yesterday, all this morning, and today I'm happy now because you know what? They're, they're trying to silence us because we're doing, we're speaking truth. And they don't want truth spoken. They want the status quo. They want their money. They want a bunch of poor people so they can have a bunch of rich people. A, a small group of rich people, excuse me. And they can give it to their friends. But while the rest of us suffer. Like, share, subscribe. Combo out. We'll see you soon.